Hi, this is Timon with the Open Networking Foundation, and today I want to share with you some exciting new news from the ONF. We recently announced a new project called SD-RAN, or Software Defined RAN. So, as many of you may know, Open RAN is a really hot area in our industry today. There's a lot of movement and a lot of interest in opening up the RAN for disaggregation and interoperability. There's a, an organization that many of you may have heard of called ORAN that was founded by operators, and it is today the leading organization defining the disaggregated RAN architecture, you know, the building blocks, and the open interfaces between those building blocks. So notably, many of you have probably now heard about the new disaggregated architecture defined by ORAN that includes the RU, DU, and CU, you know, radio unit, disaggregated unit, central unit, and, uh, and now you're starting to hear about um, open components coming out that uh, allow interoperability between uh, RU and DUCUs, and uh, some early implementations of that. Um, you know, Rocketon has de uh, announced they deployed something based on that architecture. So it's starting to move forward, great progress, lots of terrific interest. The other part that's been defined by ORAN but is um, less well known is a, a vertical disaggregation, extracting the control and intelligence up out of the DU and the CU into something known as the RIC, which is uh, the um, RAN Intelligent Controller. And this is really just akin to SDN, Software Defined Networking, of separating the, the forwarding layer and the control layer of the network and doing so in the RAN space. And this RIC architecture has uh, the main component is known as the near real-time RIC, and it is uh, envisioned to be able to do things that are sort of near real-time in processing speed, things um, largely to manage the spectrum of the RAN. Imagine things like um, handover or load balancing of users on the network, uh, perhaps things like beam, beam forming, uh, massive MIMO, um, and all of these things that really manage that, that spectrum, which is, a, of course, a really critical um, resource for the RAN and for operators. Well, furthermore, that RIC, that near real-time RIC, uh, is composed of both the, the RIC itself and a number of X-apps, as they're known. And these X-apps run on top of the RIC and are envisioned to embody certain uh, discrete components of functionality, like, say, handover or load balancing. And furthermore, what the you know, vision here is for um, a completely interoperable ecosystem. So not just interoperable RU, DUs, and CUs, but uh, a RIC that can then support X-apps from um, intermixed between, you know, from different vendors and maybe even open source components as well, but probably largely from different vendors, certainly, to start. So that instead of buying one complete integrated solution uh, that's all from one vendor, to be able to buy different co components and mix and match, and to be insert uh, new functionality in the form of different X apps. So what ONF is doing is starting to implement an open source implementation of that near real time RIC, and open source implementations of a small handful of X apps to start. Uh, specifically, we're going after handover and load balancing uh, as exemplar X apps that can really demonstrate and showcase the ability to do near real time processing of, of uh, mission critical functions of the RAM in an open and interoperable way. So that's a, a, um, a quick summary of the SD RAM project with ONF. And if you'd like to learn more, please visit opennetworking.org. Thank you.